Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Casey Marie Hurt, and today we're gonna to be talking a little bit about some thoracic and pelvic mobility on the reformer. So this is just really fun, creative work that's gonna kind of help to, I like to think about like twisting and unkinking the hose of our whole torso. Uh, the reason I like to talk about it that way is that you have lots of different diaphragms in your body. You have your pelvic floor diaphragm, you have your respiratory diaphragm, and you have your thoracic diaphragm. And so in between these radial musculature that we have that kind of segment the body like a, almost like a bamboo pole, uh, we have lots of different tubes that run vertically through those horizontal planes. Now, lots of us walk around with really interesting rotations in our body, tensions that are asymmetrical, and what happens on those radial domes in those, in those diaphragms is maybe one side of it will get a little bit kind of um, like rotated or kind of in a little bit of like a kink in the hose, like I said earlier, and then it makes it really difficult for you to have even blood flow, even lymph flow, even digestion can be um, impaired with this. So I came up with this really kind of yummy, feel good mobility exercise using two over balls. So any of your squishy balls that you have at your studio, what I like to do is deflate them to about a third to a halfway full. So this is gonna actually go underneath one at the thoracic spine and one at the pelvis. And this is when we get to take our super picky Pilates uh, uh, cueing and take that hat off and throw it into the corner of the studio because this is all about feeling good. This is not about creating any sort of stability, but about experimenting with different ranges of motion, rotating from right to left. So sometimes this can be a little bit tricky to get these underneath. It's much easier if you have a teacher helping you place these. But what I typically do is have people lay down. I definitely use a pillow. Some people will want it, some people won't take one of those balls, place it underneath the sacrum, square at the sacrum, okay? And then I kind of sit up and place the other one right above the bra line, back of the heart center, and it feels oh so good. So first things first, because it's fun and it's a learning curve, you start to press in and out. And I don't want you to use a whole lot of spring tension. I have a heavy and a light spring on, and you'll just kind of get used to this, and you can feel where your body wants to dump right or left. I can tell I need to move this ball just a little bit forward. And it feels so nice because you get that opening at the front of the hip. Now from here, I can start to experiment with really rotating, almost like clocking in the pelvis that we do so much in our pre-Pilates. And I can go out, opposite way, come back in. You've seen this a million different times in a million different ways. But what we have here at the upper back is some dynamic feelings too. So what I like to do is bring my arms to the side. I reach my shoulder blades up so that I have lots and lots of space to move and wiggle through my heart center. So what would happen if I list everything over to the right and press out? Oh, feels so good through that right side. Then I can get everything to list like a boat to the left. So this is what it's like to do everything going in the same direction. But what's really, really fun is you get into some oppositional forces. So if I let my left side ilium sink down, my right side ilium go up, and then I find the right side of my rib cage down, what does that feel like to press out? It's in this opposite rotation. And then you come back in, you can try the opposite side, and this is very clearly my difficult rotation because of my scoliosis because I feel like I am in no man's land trying to get my right side ilium to drip down and my left side of my body to go left. So have lots of different ways to play with this. You can do all one side, you can do oppositional rotation and just let people enjoy this nice massage from the ball underneath them to see if they can unkink the hose of their whole torso to find better ease and flow in all of their movements. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.